Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and I'm back again to do another Michael Romeo riff breakdown. This one is aimed at some of you more intermediate beginner and immediate guitar players. This is really a, a dexterity exercise for the left hand. You see, Michael Romeo has incredible dexterity in his left hand. Such strength to be able to play some of the riffs that he plays with the accuracy and speed with which he plays them. They're not necessarily demanding in terms of shreddability, but if you don't build up strength in your hand to be able to play things like this, rhythmically accurate as well, what you'll find is your hand will tense up over time and it will become impossible. So when you move on to songs like Nevermore, where you need to play the chorus part in that, you need a lot of strength and dexterity in this hand to pull that one off. So what we're going to look at today is the song Inferno. This is taken from Symphony X's The Odyssey album. It's the opening track. At some point I'll come back and do the lead guitar part in the intro, but right now I wanted to do the riff, the main riff that the vocal comes over in over the verse section. This is a great riff. This was probably the first Symphony X riff I learned to play because back then this was the only one I was capable of playing but it was certainly a lot of fun because after playing your open string and a pinch harmonic at the sixth fret and getting some vibrato on that to be fair getting consistent when that takes work you then have to shift down to the open position and you're playing the first fret and you're pulling off on that to the open string twice before hammering back on and then hammering the fourth fret pulling off to the open string and then jumping back up for that harmonic. It's honestly quite tricky to play and you're really going to want to play this one nice and slowly to get it up to speed. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to cut in an animated tab of me playing that riff for you over a backing track slowly. Really focus in on, on that uh, lower pull off part. Da -do -da -do -do -do. You really need to spend some time practicing the strength of playing that da -do -da -do -do -do, and really getting that rhythmically consistent over time. You're going to want to build this one up in speed. Anyway, here it is played slowly for you. Now with that out of the way, we can move on to playing this one faster. Like I say, this is one that when you kind of get there, when you're in the zone to play this one at speed, the uh, left hand is totally relaxed. You go into almost like a state of zen when you're playing this. No effort needs to go into it. It feels like you're just flicking your hand through that particular motion. But there's no denying the fact that you need to build up to that speed over time. Like I said in the introduction, you're gonna need to spend some time with these riffs before moving on to some of Romeo's more advanced riffs, like, uh, I don't know, Evolution, uh, which is another one I do wanna cover, or Nevermore, which is one that I already plan to cover, but I need to build up the stamina in my hand to be able to play that chorus all the way through. So yeah, as I say, here's the riff played up to speed. It sounds like this. And there we have it guys, a nice, simple, short Michael Romeo riff lesson for you to get your fingers under. I hope you enjoyed that and if you did, please do smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and tell all of your friends about my channel. I'd also like to say that Michael Romeo's new solo album, War of the Worlds Part 1, has just come out. I've listened to it a few times and there's some good tracks on there but I'd be really interested to know what you guys think and if there's any particular parts on there you would like me to take more of a look into and break down in more detail. So yeah, let me know in the comments section below and lastly i just want to say a huge thank you to these people over here or these some of these people over here um or all of these people over here i need to update this list actually these guys are some of my supporters over on patreon.com they keep these videos coming to you so thank you very much guys for your support if you would like to check me out on patreon become part of my patron only facebook group and get all of the exclusive transcription challenges and transcriptions that i post and you know all of that good stuff and of course shaping the content that i'm making you can do so by checking me out clicking this button up here you can subscribe 
subscribe by clicking this button down here and you'll see two more of my videos here and here. I should also say a huge thank you to my friends over at VPix who have once again sponsored this channel this month. Massive thanks to those guys. I've been using VPix for years and years and years. Here's one with my name on. <laughs> That's a sign of how long I've been using them. So please do check them out. I love those guys. And yeah, I will see you for another Michael Romeo video soon. Bye.